Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Norwood and I'm a junior music education major. Getting a good recording setup is crucial for a successful virtual audition. Today, I'm going to be talking through a few things to consider. First, the recording equipment. The most basic option is to use your phone. So I'm actually going to be recording on my phone. I have an iPhone XS um, and then I'm going to play it back for you so you can hear how it sounds. So while I can give you an okay recording, there's some inexpe inexpensive mics that will better represent your sound. For instance, the first microphone I'm going to be showing you is the iRig Mic Cast from IK Multimedia. The mic costs $40 on Amazon and plugs directly into your headphone jack on your phone. It captures your sound quality better than just using the built-in phone mic. So because I have the iPhone 10, I no longer have the headphone jack, so you will have to get this adapter. And then the iRig Cast looks like this. And there's actually a low and high frequency that you can choose from. So I'm plugging that into my phone, just like this. So I'm going to play the exact same thing with this microphone. So that just gives you a little bit more of a clear sound um, so that your recording can come across and your musicianship and all of your wonderful sounds can show up more than just on the normal um, iPhone recording um, sound. All right, so the second microphone I'm going to be showing you is the Rod M-E-L iOS microphone. This mic is $80, and it's great because it cuts out more ambient noises, so you'll get a clearer recording. The drawback to this one is it's more compatible with lightning port equipped devices. Looks like that. And then this will actually, this part will plug into your phone. And then right here, it just has a little stand so your phone can sit nice upright and listen to your playing. So again, I'm going to be playing the same thing so you can hear the difference. You can already hear with that microphone that it picks it a lot more. So depending on your microphone and your choice and your instrument, um, that's going to determine how far away that it needs to be. And as you can see, I'm currently at home. This is what I call my at home studio. Um, I do have carpet on the ground, but I do have vaulted ceilings in my room. So this is gonna affect your recording quality and what it sounds like. Um, typically for trombone, I really like recording on um, hardwood floors with a vaulted ceiling if you have that option as well. Um, so now that you have your equipment, you want to pick the right space, kind of just what I was talking about. Find a quiet space. You don't want people talking in the background of your recordings. Record a few different spots in your house. Also, just look around your environment and make sure that, um, you know, there's a good setup. It's nice and clean. I would also su suggest set up your mic six to eight feet away from you. Record a few takes and listen back. That's what's really nice about recording is you can do it a couple of times. It's not one of those where you just have one shot and that's it. Don't be afraid to adjust the mic placement if you're not getting the sound you want. I hope this helps you get one step closer to a great virtual audition. Go Frogs!